All right, you guys, I'm back with another video. And uh, as you can see, uh, it says, pay me my money or get a divorce. Now, we got another man, another trifling man stepping out on his wife. And guess what, y'all? He's a pastor. Here lately, these pastors, these so-called men of God is stepping out on their wife. Is this a trend? Like, what is going on? But uh, without further ado, let's just hop into this and see what craziness comes from this. Because this is wild. This is just absolutely wild. Give me my money or get a divorce. Which one is going to be? You have to Which one is it going to be? Give me off that dinner. She's going to know. Give me off that dinner. Three, four times a week he hear y'all. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This person... Uh, wait, wait, wait. This person uh, that's talking, it sounds like a dude. I don't, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, this don't fully that the the person that's talking to this this dude right here that's covering his uh, head and face like this is wild. Like this dude is literally covering his head, <laughs> and she and, and the and this person is saying either pay me my money or your wife is gonna find out. I think the wife is pretty much done found out by now. I mean, this is crazy, man. All these pastors stepping out on their wives. Like, why? I, I don't understand. Like, this this is why I, I'm, I'm like, I'm scared to even go to church and listen to these, these dudes. Because they could be leading you astray and telling you false stuff. And then on top of that, these, these pastors are really... Doing this stuff, meeting these people at hotels and cheating, cheating on their wives. And, and, and the person said he does it like three or four times a week, three or four times a week. That's insane. So what is he telling his wife back at home? She this man, this man got his wife thinking that he's he's walking the straight and narrow. And here he is at some old cheap, lousy hotel. Man, bro, this is wild. <laughs> All right, let's continue, man. This is crazy. Well, he's here meeting with me in this room. Yeah. Bro, is his pants on backwards? Dude, this man got his... This man got his pants on backwards, y'all. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> She said, "Pay me." He said, "Pay me two hundred dollars, bro." What did he get that was two hundred dollars worth? And you know what? I don't even want to know. This is crazy. That dude got some nappy hair too. No, <laughs> I can't believe this is a and this is a pastor. Hey y'all. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Everybody might not know, but she will know. She will know. What the heck? Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Y'all. Tell y'all. Tell me. Tell me why this looked like a, a uh, his his uh suit that he had on for service uh last Sunday or something. That's nasty. If that's his bro, you know what would be crazy is. If right after the service he met this person at a hotel and he was doing this right here, but that's crazy. Not only that, this person is like wanting the money. Like, like I, I guess the person took his keys and sh and and the person is is like trying to get their money because they did they did a service, of course, because he's cheating and he's paying for. It whatever service that was provided which we all know but i'm not gonna say it but this is just weird and his pants is on backwards yeah i know this man i know his wife seen this and she divorced the crap out of him bro i'm just getting this weird vibe that this man came straight from his sunday service left the church and met this person in this hotel y'all this is not a man of God. This is not a man of God. 
And I'm saying if anybody that noticed him that that goes to his church since he's a so-called pastor, I, I I I they have to be embarrassed. I mean, this dude is literally covering his head, his whole face. I think because I guess because she was like your wife, it, it, she was like either pay me or this person was like either pay me or your wife is gonna see this. That's crazy, bro. So let me guess. The person got his keys. I'm sorry, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Uh, uh, 15 minutes. 125. 125. 125 for 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure you free What? You have lost your damn mind. You ain't never paid me for nothing free. Whatever you paid me, you got your money's worth. Whoa, she said, whatever you paid me, last time you got your money's worth. Bro, this is a pastor, y'all, man. Uh, uh, supposed to be a man of God. With, they're supposed to have standards and morals and values. This dude ain't got none of that, bro. All he got is sin. That's all he got. Nothing but sin. And this is just like a person in sin. Embar embarrassed that, that, that the light is going to reveal his darkness. It's supposed to be a man of God. Dang, she said he got a house full of kids, got a wife. That he at work. Oh, he be telling her that she at work. Oh, he said he's the reason why they short on the bills. Because <laughs> he paying her for... He paying this person for a service at a hotel at three three to four times a week. Bro, they going down the staircase, bro. What is going on? What in this What we doing here? What's this This is pathetic, bro. What the heck? She said, you ain't going to leave until you give me my money. You better figure it out. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. This is a pastor, man. What in the world, bro? I'm not doing this with you, no more. I ain't got time for this. I do not have time So how they going to resolve this? He ain't got the money. <laughs> he ain't got the money. Wow, that's crazy. This right here, she said, go get your tail for free. And Don't time, call me. Now, I got somebody to pay to. You know my people do not play this, honey. You know. You know. Wow. Okay, y'all. That is insane. That was a whole pastor right there. A supposed to be man of God with standards, morals, and values. And he lied to his wife. The person said that's why they short on the bills and, and yeah, lying to his wife, telling him that telling her that she that he's at work, but he's really at this hotel with this this. It sounds like a man, y'all. I, I don't know what that was, but uh, that sounds like a man. And, and that's disgusting. Like this dude need to repent and, and he need to find God again, like repent of your sins. But that's kind of funny how, you know, uh, you know, he had his uh, whole face and head covered. That's just like a person in sin, y'all. They they afraid that that is going to expose their their darkness, which is their sin. And it's kind of funny how this pastor is. I, I just thought that was kind of crazy how he was covering himself. But yo, man. I don't know what's going on with these pastors nowadays. They stepping out on their wives, cheating. But man, I hope he got, I hope Jesus gave him what he deserves, which is a big fat divorce. But y'all hit me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. That'll definitely help me out. And on that note, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that watch my video and take the time out. I don't take any of you guys for granted. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.